How's it going, everybody? Give a round for Two Tone Murphy here. Hope you're doing well. I'm here with yet another Microsoft Flight Simulator quick fix video. And, well, before we get started, I, uh, I have a bit of insider knowledge to share with you. Um, if you're watching this on the day of release, which is today, Sunday, tomorrow, on tomorrow's live stream, uh, Two Tom Murphy will be announcing a new screenshot challenge. And it's pretty cool. The winner gets a nice voucher for a product of their choice. I think it's on Sim Market. And what else? Oh, yeah. The top 10 screenshots will get displayed on the live stream intro. Um, as well, if that wasn't all, as well as the Al Alison Johnson live stream, the screenshots will get shown there too on Alison's intro. So pretty cool. Um, so to get ahead of that and to give you some you know, pointers and some hints uh, on how you might want to think about improving your screenshots that might be helpful, well, that's what this video is about. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. So I have to say, I love looking at the photo and video channel on the Two Tone Murphy Discord to see all the amazing screenshots and videos, for that matter, that the community uh, put up there. There's a couple here that I've just taken uh, purely as a sample. There's this cool uh, screenshot of a, a ship. Here's one Mahoney. Love it. Of Concord. Cannot wait for that. Um, and what else have we got? Oh, yeah. Look at that formation of the DC-6. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Well, I don't know about you, but I work pretty hard to be lazy. Um, and one of the things that I try to avoid is having to take screenshots into Photoshop. You know, it's kind of like a photographer. They say do uh, as much work as you can in, in camera rather than post-processing. So one of the simple things is you'll see here this little uh, icon, I suppose, hiding the, the toolbar. That's kind of annoying. And it's in all of these shots. And it does definitely get in the way if I scroll through them all here. So, you know, you have to either crop that out or do content to wear fill just to remove it. Wouldn't it be great if it wasn't there in the first place? Well, there is a handy little add-on, and that's where we're starting with hint number one today. And it's this. It's called No Handlebar. A link on screen uh, where you can find it in flightsim.to. It's a four kilobyte add-on that you just pop into your community folder. And if I jump over to the, to the sim, even, uh, to show you how it works, here it's not gone away, it's just that icon has gone away. So if I want to, uh, to move up to anything in my toolbar, I just grab my cursor and bring it up. And there we go, and it appears. So it's pretty handy, it just removes it, so you can take a screenshot without having to worry about that icon hiding the toolbar being in the way. Okay, that's hint number one. Let's move on to hint number two. So hint number two is actually what you see on screen right now. It's pausing the simulator. So as you have it paused, it means that you don't have to worry about flying and, and keeping it straight and level. Um, but also, you don't have to worry about the background, you know, moving out of the way as you might be, you know, lining up the shot and composing your shot. So by pausing it, it really gives you the chance to, to go in and, and make sure you've got the shot the, that you want and, uh, you know, take your time in, in, in planning it out and making sure, yeah, that's exactly what I, what I was aiming for. And um, to take this a step further, you could actually use the uh, your favorite flight recorder. I've done a video on my favorite flight recorder. Um, link in the description below. And that would allow you to actually go back in time and really hone in on the particular moment that you want to take that screenshot off. So as you think about it, things like here with uh, taking off, you know, that's a real critical moment in flight where you just don't have the time to be able to take the shot and um, that you want while you're actually trying to take off. So using Flight Recorder really helps you, you know, just buy you some time to plan out that shot, uh, zoom in, take your time and make sure that is the one that you want. Okay, so that's the second quick hint. Let's move on to hint number three. Hint number three is unfortunately for NVIDIA graphic card users only. Uh, you AMD users, please sit tight. Uh, please watch because I'd love your help. If there's anything AMD related that offers similar functionality to what you're about to see, 
then please do pop it in the comment section below. I, you'd be really helping me out. Unfortunately, I don't have an AMD system, so it is uh, for NVIDIA users only. But that's using the GeForce Experience. So the GeForce Experience is an, is an add-on. You can download it for free. Again, link in the description below. And what it allows you to do is, again, in Sim, without having to take it out to anything like uh, Photoshop or anything else, is use this game filter. So I have the cliche uh, shot of the spit at the cliffs of Dover, my apologies. But to show you, you have these three uh, styles, these three uh, presets, if you like, that you can uh, set up to be uh, any way that you particularly like. So if I go for a uh, screenshot or style three, I should say, uh, I can click here and go for add filter and I've already added depth to field. So look at that. Look what it does straight out of the gate without me having to, to do anything to manipulate it myself. So of course I've got some sliders here. I can make it increase or decrease. Uh, I can zoom in a little further perhaps on the shot just to really hone in on what it is I'm, I'm looking to achieve here. I can change all these sliders to really make sure that the shot is exactly how I want without, with ease. And then when I'm happy with it, I can just exit out of the uh, filter here. Go back into the sim, if I hit escape, there we go. And then, boom, take my screenshot. And that's what a nice depth of field in the background. And that's just one example of lots of things that this game filter can do. So, and you can actually stack up the filters too. So say, for example, I, I'm happy with depth of field, I wanna add another one. Let's make it black and white, for example. Boom, there's black and white. Again, without me having to do very much, one click of a mouse and it's done. So you, if you're happy that that's a kind of a style that you like, you can save it under number three. You don't have to keep doing, uh, messing with all the sliders each and every time. Um, and that's uh, how you can quickly manipulate a photo. Let's go a step further and I'll show you style two. So here I've got one called painterly and night mode. I've stacked these two together, saved it under number two. And look at this, I mean, that's awesome. That would take ages. Well, it would for me at least in Photoshop to achieve. I mean, you could print that out and put it in a frame and put it on your wall as far as I'm concerned. That looks just awesome. Yeah, and definitely worth the screenshot. Uh, but, you know, come on, we're in the spit. It needs to be majestic. Look at style one. This is my favorite for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Seriously. So what we have here is old film. We have uh, another filter added on top called details. We've got that black and white one we saw a moment ago, and we got a little bit of depth of field. So, I mean, for me, I don't think there's a better shot that you can take of a spit at Dover. I'm definitely screenshotting that. That looks awesome. No Photoshop involved, pretty handy, and definitely uh, voucher winning in my opinion. <laughs> so folks, that's it for now. Thanks so much indeed for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a like. It would be so much appreciated. And don't forget, as I said, this competition for the Screenshot Challenge will be announced on tomorrow's live stream. Uh, Two Tom Murphy, of course, streams Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 1900 Zulu on Twitch. It would be great to see you there. Until the next one, thanks so much again for watching. Take care. Bye.